What if the very existence of a random act was proof it was part of a pattern? Everything, a missing piece to a puzzle we have not stood back far enough to recognize for what it is. So, in 2008, was that your first trip outside the country? Yeah. I think I was about nine or ten when I saw a film about pandas, and after that I, I always dreamed of going to China. My boyfriend and I had planned the trip with some of our friends for after graduation, but uh, we broke up before that. Uh, my other friends insisted that we go anyway, go early, to cheer me up. We were in the eastern Sichuan province near Chengdu, May 12th, officially 2.28 in the afternoon. Not that I knew that at the time. It was a 7.9. 69,000 died, 375,000 injured. They say over a million dwellings collapsed. A mountain came down and swallowed a train. Cody was yelling for Caitlin and I to get back to the bikes, but we didn't make it. Three trees collapsed around me, which formed the pocket where I was buried. I couldn't feel my legs at all or move them. I remember crying, but I, I never made any sound. Maybe I just couldn't hear. I had no idea how much stuff was on top of me. And um, how long until they found you? Fifty-six hours. I was in hospitals over there, then over here for 11 months. I left with two severe surgical scars and a demoralizing sense that I had inherited some new responsibility, the exact nature of which I was ignorant. And neither of your companions survived? No. They were part of that 69,000. You were very, very fortunate. How so? Was I fortunate that my boyfriend dumped me so that I could be dragged to China in time not to miss the earthquake? You can't even say it was fortunate for him that he dumped me because if we hadn't broken up, then we wouldn't have gotten there until after the earthquake. So, so was it his fault that my friends died? When was my fate sealed? Well, what do you think? 